Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 12th, 2022. Well, we had quite an interesting day yesterday with those bears getting a little bit feisty, and we ended up closing all four of our indexes below the 50-day moving average. But not all is lost just yet. However, we do have some data this morning that could really toss a monkey wrench into things and create significant volatility. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at uh, these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Now, as you can see, we have had some negative reactions here in our price action. And um, although not all is lost, there is some major concern starting to show up here in the market. If you take a look um, a little bit, closely you can see we've got the possibility of a little tiny head and shoulders top starting to show up here on our diamonds chart and what i mentioned yesterday is that we were showing that negative reaction up here to that price resistance and downtrend and that is continued or continued yesterday with a little bit of a failure in there as you can see on the diamonds now officially this is a lower high lower high lower high lower high but as of yesterday, we didn't quite make that lower low. We held in there. And you can see this morning, although we know we're probably going to get a pretty hot reading on inflation, the market itself, the pre-market, is trying to say, nah, not nothing to worry about here. Don't look over here. Um, we'll see how that reacts after that number comes out. I think anything is possible. You know, we've had a market that has been unbelievably willing to ignore bad data. And as we see China going back into lockdown, we see all of these issues out there. The fact that the market is is doing all of this um, to ignore the, the negative impacts that we're seeing to the economy is truly amazing to me. But we can continue to do that. So there's no reason to suggest that they will stop in ignoring some of that data. So let's keep in mind right in here, we have a support level down here in this area. It's going to be pretty critical that we hold that if you want to be a bull in the market. Remember, we have that downtrend. So any rally back up into here, we'll want to watch carefully for that potential of failure. And of course, that price resistance showing up in the chart right there. So boy, it's going to be kind of a toss up. And if we take a look at where we are, notice we're below our 50 day moving average, but we're trying to pretend high inflation doesn't matter to us here, at least at the moment. Keep in mind that we have a pretty strong level of price resistance just in the technicals here of the charts as well, not only the price. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now, SPY, well, doggone it, um, we followed through to the downside. So we have a lower low followed, or lower high followed by a lower low, another lower high followed by a lower low, and we are following that move here to the downside. So let's take a look here technically um, in the chart. We have a support level that has been broken. Um, we had resistance in this chart that did its job. And now we'll, we're going to have to see with the potential of hot inflation data, will we ignore it and get an opportunity to rally back up to test resistance in here or even test resistance up into that downtrend? Um, that's yet to be seen. Seen, so watch that closely. Now, if those bears maintain um, their energy here in the market, we could technically see a, a test down in here to test this level of price support. Notice there was a little tiny bit of price support right here, but we're kind of technically breaking it at the moment. We could bounce right back up, however, but watch those levels down in there. And if those bulls engage again, we know that downtrend, those places where we need to be watching for. Our technicals here on the chart, notice that we did break below the 50-day moving average and that possibility that um, we could continue to push on lower here certainly does exist in the chart. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Now, our NASDAQ 
is the most under pressure with bond rates continuing to rise. As a matter of fact, this morning, bond rates continue to move higher, but we've fixed the inversion here just uh, for the moment because our longer terms have really been rising sharply with worries of a hot inflation number. So our 30 year is coming in at 2.82, our 10 year is at 2.79. Our five year is 2.80, only two ticks, only two ticks away from inverting over the 30. And um, one, it's already one tick over the 10. So we have still just that threat of that inversion um, on that five, uh, five and 10, five and 30. So we'll wanna watch those closely. And I suspect there will be some moving around of these bonds today as this number is released. So you might wanna watch that close. Let's take a look here technically in the chart. Obviously we continue to make lower lows, but we have kind of an interesting trend here. This is a pretty steep drop um, where we are in that market. So when we start dropping that quickly, we run that um, that higher risk of a substantial bounce back up. So we'll wanna watch that level right in there. We have that price resistance, and if we can find reason for bullishness, then we could bounce back into that level of the chart. We will wanna keep in mind that we have this little uh, price resistance level right across here that could stop us from moving on through to the upside however so keep a, keep an eye on that and then let's take a look at those technicals um, the technicals in the chart are pretty dismal at the moment noting that we have quite a few moving averages now being a resistance right here in that chart. So QQQ definitely under pressure as these bond rates continue to um, push those bears here in the NASDAQ lower. And we're seeing a lot of the big tech selling off substantially. And then if we take a look at our Russell, our Russell continues to be a problem. Um, as you can see, we're, we're making lower lows um, after lower highs, breaking support levels. And I suspect at this point, there's a real high probability we're going to test these, um, these lows here in the chart. And you do want to keep in mind that if we fail here, um, it's a pretty hard drop down to the next level of support in the Russell. So, um, Keep a close eye on that. Anything is possible. And then let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX, interestingly enough, even as we had that fear coming into the market, some bearish um, sellers, the fear really stayed relatively in check. It didn't get out of control. Um, and we've seen that a lot lately where we've just had this capacity to just shake it off and just kind of ignore um, uh, worries in the market. Inflation doesn't matter. Higher interest rates doesn't matter. Um, we keep hearing stories that the consumer is flush with money, but where is that? considering the fact that we have record consumer debt now in the market. Housing uh, prices are starting to, to run into trouble. Um, we've got all kinds of things out there that are creating some issues for us. Um, so you would think that there would be a little bit more spike in fear. So if you're a bull, that's a good sign because if you're a bull in the market, you wanna see that fear kind of subside and come back down here in that chart. And it certainly has that potential of doing that as we push into a little bit of a level of price resistance in there. However, at the same time, we may have started just a, a tiny little bit of an uptrend in that chart. And if that um, CPI number brings out the bears, um, then we could maybe spike. So just um, be kind of careful here in today's market. Anything I think is possible. And then if we take a look at our T2122, now T2122, um, whoops, T2122 tells us we may not be finished with our downside move here just yet. Notice we still have more space before we reach that um, bullish reversal zone down here in the chart. So if the CPI number does come in hot, if it brings out the bears, just notice we still have more room to the downside. But if we can shake it off and just kind of ignore um, the impacts of inflation, then um, we certainly have plenty of upside opportunity um, that has been set up with the selling in the market. So watch that carefully. Um, and then our T2108, 
T2108 uh, saw a little bit of bearishness yesterday, pushing back, but it wasn't as bad as a person might have expected with the selling that we saw in the market. 45% of the stocks, almost 46% of the stocks, holding above their 40-day moving average. So keep in mind, we've got a little bit of price support right in there that could hold us. We've got more price support down here um, in that chart before we start getting ugly. And um, we do have to remember that we have rejected the downtrend here, at least at the moment. So if those bulls can find reason to ignore inflation data and pop back up, then hey, who knows? Well, maybe we can hold these support levels and continue to gain some ground. If we look at T2107, T2107 also showed some pressure yesterday. Our, our um, small caps really seem to be struggling quite a bit here, and that's pressuring this index, as you can see. But we're still holding on to some price support. Big old long downtrend continues to remain in force. It'll, it'll just be the question whether or not we push back down through there. Only 33, 34% of our stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. Uh, once again, T2101 is not really being very helpful here um, because we continue to see rather anemic uh, volume in the market. Um, it's kind of an interesting situation where we've had all of this uncertainty out there but a lot of low volume here in the market where we just can't seem to get moving in, um, in, in with any strength um, on a direction. So kind of keep that in mind. T2101 may not be giving us um, good momentum signals. So with that, everyone, how about we take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar, we have some um, obvious there we go. I've been talking about it all morning. Some obvious things that we're going to want to pay attention to. And that's going to be um, this CPI number this morning. Um, could be pretty dramatic um, in that increase in inflation. Even the White House got involved in warning investors that the number is probably going to come in hot. Um, so keep an eye on that. Um, you might also want to keep in mind that we've got a 10-year 10 uh, 10-year bond auction that could be interesting a little bit later this morning um, or this afternoon. Um, keep an eye on that and some more Fed speak. And if that were it, we might be able to breathe a sigh of relief, but not so much. Um, remember, tomorrow we've got a PPI reading, and that's also expected to come in very hot. Um, so watch that closely as, as you prepare for the following day of data. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar, we have... Um, 15 or so companies um, listed on the earnings calendar. A good number of those are unconfirmed. And of those that are confirmed, there really isn't, there, most of them are very, very small cap and not gonna be particularly notable. However, there are a couple we wanna pay attention to this morning. Um, ACI, ACI reporting today. Looks like at the moment, uh, they may have disappointed here in the market. Um, or disappointed the market, uh, continuing to flow in that little bit of a downtrend here. So ACI may be a bit of a bit of a problem for the market this morning. And then KMI, KMI reporting today, and looks like it tried to get a little bit bullish here. And well, you can see it's working on that bullishness right now, trying to push on through. Notice that we've been uh, flirting with these record highs here for a while. Um, for the last two or three years anyway, and we've got a massive resistance level above. So you'll want to keep an eye on that as this tries to perk through and hold to the upside. Then let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, this is the first time you've seen these videos, click that subscribe button on YouTube, and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that it, you'll be notified when I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful, please also do me that favor. Click those thumbs up buttons, leave brief comments because I truly, truly appreciate it. Hey guys, I wanna um, issue a little bit of a warning. Um, every once in a while, we get a lot of spam coming in on the comments on um, um, 
YouTube, and I keep reporting it, keep reporting it, but it seems like the spammers are more intelligent than Google at the moment, and they can continue to skirt around all of their rules. If you catch a comment, any comment that comes to you that says it's from a WhatsApp to go to WhatsApp, please understand that is never going to be me. I don't use WhatsApp. I am never going to use WhatsApp. So if that comes in, um, note that that is a spam message and you should ignore it. I go through and delete those as quickly as I can, but they do get through. And even though I delete them and report them to Google, um, they continue to show up. So just keep that in mind, ignore it. Um, that is not me. Um, and I think you, most of you know that, but I wanted to pass that along. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up here. Um, but before we do that, guys, oh, excuse me. Um, um, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who continues to support the channel through Buy Me A Coffee link. It's right below the title of the video as well if you want to um, want to support the channel that way. Um, let's take a look at these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. And as a matter of fact, um, I think um, you're going to have to be very, very careful, um, particularly um, with these big inflation inflationary data points. We could get false readings. We could get head fakes. We could get all kinds of things happening in the market today. So be really, really careful. Make sure you understand the risks of these trade ideas and um, understand that they are not a recommendation to buy or, or sell anything. You have to do your own due diligence on these charts. One of the areas that I think um, continues to be plagued here by these higher bond rates and declining uh, mortgage applications is the banks. Take a look at XLF. We've had this rally back up into some price resistance here in the chart and we're starting to show maybe just a little bit of problem here. Yesterday we closed the day with a bit of a shooting star up here against that price resistance in the chart and you'll note that a lot of the stocks in this industry have struggled really hard. Let's take a look at Goldman Sachs here. Goldman Sachs could easily be setting up as a potential short. Um, long downtrend going into play, pushing up into price resistance, tr starting to show that rejection of that in here. It's possible that could go just a little bit higher or hold a little bit longer in here out toward trend, but we'll want to watch that possibility that Goldman Sachs could potentially start moving on lower here in the chart. We have certainly seen that in many of the big banks, Citibank. Um, continuing to show pressure here. Uh, BAC, lots of pressure on these charts. WFC, big banking institutions are running into some trouble. And as we rally back to resistance in these charts, that's exactly where we want to be watching for that potential of that sell wave to come in. So watch um, some of those big banks if you're looking for some potential shorts. Um, let's take a look at some of the big tech. Um, Microsoft really sold off hard yesterday and notice that Microsoft breaking back below its 50 day moving average. Now, when we start to approach some support levels in this chart, we might wanna watch for that potential of a little bit of a relief bounce. Um, to push it back up. So if we can find some reason in here for support, there may be that opportunity to move back up. But I got to tell you guys, as long as these bonds um, continue to stay very high priced, bond yields very high priced, you'll want to watch that carefully because we could run into these resistance levels in the chart and then see more selling. So you may want to keep an eye on some of these charts. They could go either direction, but boy, I'll tell you with the yields on these bond rates showing lots of pressure, inflation showing lots of pressure, we might start seeing some of these big tech um, stocks selling again in the market. Take a look at stocks like um, AMD. AMD breaking down some support levels, even though there has just been a huge, huge number 
of reports out there trying to pump AMD up saying, oh my gosh, this thing's going to be greater than you know anything else. And then boom, right back down she goes. So keep an eye on that. Any rally back in here um, could set up that opportunity for more lows in um, AMD. So watch, watch those closely. On the long side of things, take a look at some of the defensive sector stocks. Now we had some of those pull back just a little bit yesterday, but Coca-Cola breaking through resistance here in the chart. This is a big breakout here in Coke. And you can see a rest or pullback in here, consolidation or a little rest could set up that next opportunity to the upside. And I couldn't rule out the way the market has been moving that opportunity that we may just move straight on through um, to the upside without much of a rest. So kind of looking at that trend, there is that possibility. Now take a look at stocks like uh, KHC. Um, food prices continue to move up and we're seeing KHC making these moves, breaking out to the upside, showing quite a bit of strength. Um, and you can see those moves in here pushing right on through, holding support levels in KHC. We saw um, Mondelez is setting up here in um, this chart. We've got this nice little upside trend going in here. We've had this little resting pattern along price support. Look for that next opportunity that that may move on through to the next level to the upside. So quite a few of those um, out there. Take a look at things like um, natural gas. Oh my goodness. Now I have a bias here. I've been holding natural gas long term, but oh my goodness, this thing just continues to rise and rise and rise. And we're seeing lots of those natural gas related stocks. Um, continuing to spike as the Russian Ukraine thing continues to put pressure on this sector. Take a look at Boyle as well. Uh, Boyle, another very, very strong stock to the upside. So watch that closely. You know, another defensive stock that I'm in and I have a bit of a bias on is Altria. Well, a lot of things were selling off yesterday. Altria continued to move higher. Here, if we take a look at a five-day uh, five chart, a weekly chart, breaking that downtrend, holding it, and I'm holding this as a longer term trade, just looking for this to move on up and collect some of that dividend yield in the chart. And we're also seeing Philip Morris um, really starting to respond back up. However, it still has a significant level of resistance to get through in that, um, in that area. So watch that one closely. There are quite a few other stocks out there that have some interest here. We continue to see Tractor Supply trying to break Break that resistance uh, to the upside. Struggling here, um, this could go either direction. We could finally make that move and break through or just absolutely fail in that area. And then I would also keep an eye on some of those commodity type prices. Um, corn, um, corn continues to surge and you can see it looks like we're getting a big bullish move here this morning on that. Um, um, we see um, um, ag-related stocks like uh, Moo, an ag ETF, just continuing to run higher, um, looking really, really strong. Take a look at stocks like individual stocks like Archer Daniels in one heck of an upside move um, can continue to keep doing that as our food prices continue to surge to the upside. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. You honestly, guys, you humble me every, every day. And um, it means the world to me, um, all the kindness and support of the channel. I, I truly appreciate it. Y'all take care. Have an awesome day. We'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.